300 million US dollars. That's your company's target annual revenue for three years from now. But right now, you're only doing 30 million US dollars a year. You've got work to do. You need to inspire your whole company to do a lot more. But how? How do great leaders inspire action? That's what we're going to look at in this video. Hi everyone, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm Jamie and I work as a coach and trainer. And my channel is all about leadership tips for influencing, communicating and boosting productivity. First of all, you can't win them all at once. If you want to inspire the whole company, you need to start with the right people. Of course, you need to start with a few people who have a lot of influence. You need to start with the leadership team. But even in the leadership team, some people are going to be harder to persuade than others. So start by focusing on those few people who already support your idea. The more they support it, the more successful you are likely to be with persuading them. Get them on board first. Then after a while, they can help you bring others on board as well. Secondly, respect autonomy. You can get people to act through compliance or commitment. Slaves are compliant because they have to be. They know that if they don't follow the rules, bad things are going to happen. Compliance for slaves is a survival strategy. It's not something they want to do. And because they don't want to do it, the moment you stop looking over their shoulder, they run away. If you want to inspire people to act, don't do it through compliance. Instead, you want commitment. Commitment comes from the inside, not the outside. You can't give people commitment. You have to help them find it within themselves. So when it comes to inspiring the leadership team in your company, don't give them a vision. Work with them to co-create that vision. When the vision comes from them, they will be committed. With clients I've worked with who have faced similar challenges, we typically run workshops where the team co-creates their vision. And it's important that they have opportunities to get everything off their chests and work through their disagreements. When they have those difficult conversations, they can then move to a place of co-creating a successful vision. Thirdly, you need to get mad. As you co-create your vision and cascade it down throughout the organization, you need to help people translate it so that it becomes measurable, achievable, and desirable for everyone. For example, as part of your growth strategy, you've identified that someone in the business development function needs to open a new office so that you can get closer to your key clients and sign more deals with them. You've identified someone to take on this task. They've never done anything like this before, but you believe in their ability to do it. As you sit down with them, you need to paint a vision for them that is mad, measurable, achievable, and desirable. First, by measurable, our brain thinks in pictures. So we need to help them picture clearly in their mind what success looks like. When that picture is crystal clear, they'll have a lot more clarity. Open an office in XYZ town is not very clear. But open an office that's no more than 15 minutes car ride to our biggest client and hire enough people to ensure we provide them with all the support they need is much clearer. By achievable, we need to help them ensure they have enough ability and resources to feel confident. If the challenge is too high for them, they'll feel overwhelmed by it. If it's too low, it'll bore them. It has to come at just the right level for them to feel engaged by this. I trust you can do this all by yourself may be a bit too overwhelming for them. But if instead you said, you can take three people from this office to support you, and I'm happy to sit down with you and help you create an action plan. Then maybe they would feel a bit more confident. Finally, we need to make sure the vision is desirable. The vision has to align with their motivations and lead to an end state that is desirable for them, not just for you. You've got six months, <laughs> it leaves a lot to be desired. But if instead you framed it as, 
I know you were looking for a promotion and a higher salary, and I think this is the perfect opportunity for you. Then they are more likely to see how this vision aligns with their motivations. So when you want to inspire people to action, get mad. And mad works best as a two-way conversation. Work with them to make the vision mad. If they lack clarity, then help them make it measurable enough so they can picture it clearly in their mind. If they lack confidence, then help them adjust the plan or find the support they need in order to make this feel more achievable. And if they lack commitment, then talk with them to find what matters to them and see if there is any way this vision can align with their desires. Finally, whatever vision you are using to inspire action, you need to check in with it. The leadership teams I've worked with don't just set one vision and leave it. They come back every few months to review it and adjust it. Because things change. The world changes, the economy changes, the industry changes. What was measurable, achievable and desirable before might not be anymore. Plus, as you start to roll out the vision, you'll get better and better at explaining it to people. You'll find that some ways of framing it work better than others. But you'll only find the best way of framing it through trying and refining. Think of it like driving home for Christmas. As you set out on your journey, maybe your car breaks down, or maybe there's a road closure, or maybe even your hometown gets sealed off because of the pandemic. Conditions change, and if you don't adapt to your vision, then people won't be able to act on it anymore. It's rare that you'll be able to inspire action just through some magic words. Inspiration requires a lot of dialogue, exploration, and support. But if you take the time to identify the right people, respect their autonomy, co-create a vision that's measurable, achievable, and desirable, and adjust it as circumstances change, then people will take action and you'll be able to lead them to great things. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. The algorithm only rewards my efforts when I get likes and subscribes. So if you think this video is worth it, then it would help me a lot if you click those two buttons. I've got other videos here that you might find helpful as well. So check them out and have a great day.